Hello everyone, welcome to how to do it. In this video, we will see how to fix 0xc000021 a issue in Windows 10. So let's get started. So to fix this, you must be in the startup repair options. So if you are not able to get to the screen, what you will have to do is start your computer and when you see the Windows logo, restart your computer repeat the step for two to three times until you get to the startup screen so once you are here just go to advanced options click on troubleshoot then go to advanced options then click on command prompt now select a account I'll select this one uh, I don't have a password so I'll just click on continue so yeah so here we are in the command prompt so we'll have to switch to the windows directory most of the time it is c drive so let's check if it is the same in our case so I'll just type in c colon now we are in the c drive so let's check if it is a windows directory or not so for that I'll just type in dir now here we can see we don't have any files so this is not our windows directory so we'll switch to d drive so for that i'll just type in d and then colon so now let's check if d drive is our windows directory or not so i'll just type in dir so yeah we can see the program files and the windows folder here so this is our windows directory so we'll have to proceed the next set of commands from this directory and just type in dism space slash image colon d colon slash space slash cleanup dash image space slash revert pending actions now here what i did was this is a disk management utility and inside that with that we want to clean up the pending actions so here in this command I mentioned D because we are in the D directory, right? So if your windows is installed in the C directory or any other directory, you have to mention that particular drive name here. So I'll just hit enter. Now it will start the process. So now it is complete. So we'll move with the further commands. So we'll just type in exit. Now click on troubleshoot again. Now go to advanced options and open command prompt again. Now just move to the directory where the windows is installed. For me it is D drive. Most likely for you it's C drive. So just move to that. And just type in chk dsk space slash f space slash r. And then hit enter then press Y and hit enter. Now this process will check for any disk errors. This will take some time so I'll just fast forward the video. So now the disk check has been complete so we'll move with the next command so we'll just type in sfc space slash scan now now this will also take some time so i'll just fast forward the video okay so once this is complete we can just close the command prompt so i'll just close this then what you can do is just click on continue exit and continue to windows 10 and your system should start so this was all on how to fix this issue in windows 10 hope you like the video please do like and subscribe thank you for watching